I am Christine. In my last video, I talked about three things that you can do to start your own journey of overcoming. First one was to not allow anybody to steal your hope. The second was to build a community who believes in you and is a community of overcomers. And the third was to create a practice of ridding yourself of negative influences in taking in the positive. Because overall, we have problems that we need to make smaller so that we can overcome them, turn it from a problem into a challenge. I'm going to start talking about one of the things that I did in my own journey that I know many other people have done as well with these same tools. As children, we hopefully are, are being shared with about characteristics of unsafe people. And maybe you're not one of those people like I wasn't. In fact, more people than not had never had these conversations with their teachers outside of stranger danger, which if you know the statistics, strangers are kind of low on the list as far as the people who create our traumas. Uh, so outside of that, teachers, even um, our parents, grandparents, I don't think that they have these tools. So I'm not blaming anyone. Blame doesn't do any good. But I am pointing out a lack. And when there's a lack, it's important to identify it and say, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to continually go into the same kind of circular relationships with the same kind of people, end up getting hurt. And I want to know what to do about it. Fantastic. That's amazing. That's a great place to stay. So I want to do something about it. What do I do? I will tell you that in my journey, and I have recommended this book and, and workbook to multiple people, and I'm not talking about one or two, I'm talking about dozens of people over the last, even the last six months. This book and workbook called Safe People, it's written by Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Townsend. They're also the authors of the book Boundaries, but I, my personal rec, or my personal recommendation is that before you read boundaries, you pick up safe people. Now, if you know my journey, I did not have the funds to start buying all these books and workbooks and things like that. So I needed to be resourceful. I got my library card, and there are many apps. Hoopla is the number one app that I recommend over and over again for anybody. Whether you have the funds to buy books or you don't, it is a great resource, not only for audiobooks and ebooks, but also for DVDs and CDs as well. So it's H O O P L A. It's a great app to use, and it's available on both Android and Apple. So Safe People is talking about the characteristics. Now, I want to say that they are very open about the fact that this is not an inclusive book, which means that this, it's not listing every single characteristic of unsafe people or characteristics of safe people. A lot of those things from I've learned from my experience going through with my counselors is that in my own experience, I've had to point out, oh, okay, this should be a red flag in the future. Oh, okay, this seems to happen a lot. I think I need to um, be more aware when I meet people like that. And the, the main point, I would say if there's one thing that I would share with you from this book that will make a difference is stop rushing into relationships. Stop rushing into friendships. Stop rushing into romantic relationships. It takes time for things to develop well, and it takes time for you to see the true character of somebody. So if there's one thing that you get from, from this video today is don't be in a rush. Allow the true nature of a person that's in front of you to unfold. And if you're seeing red flags, take note of those and be, feel free to address them. Things that are not you're not comfortable with, that's important to address. You don't want to build a relationship off of a lie that you're completely comfortable with everything that's going on. The next thing I would do once you get through safe people, and again, this book is also available on Hoopla and at the library, is Boundaries, Same Authors. This book allows you to know when to say yes, when to say no, and 
in my experience with this book, my favorite thing about it, and again, this is why you need the Safe People book, is it shares with you about how to protect yourself, how to protect your heart more importantly. So our heart is the most important thing. We need to guard it. So in the book, it talks about our lives being guarded by a fence. And these fence, uh, this fence is boundaries. It's things that we are okay with and not okay with. And when we build a fence, we have to be able to let things in and out. So we have to have a gate. And from this gate, we have to know how to put unsafe things out and safe things in, allow things, safe things in. And if you're anything like me, in my background, I kind of did the opposite. I didn't feel worthy. I didn't feel important. I, I had very low self-esteem. And so I would push the good things away and I almost invited the bad things into my life, the destructive relationships, the unkindness, those things that almost aligned with what it is that I felt about myself. So I hope you found this helpful. There is a tremendous amount of hope out there if, you're, if you know what you're looking for. Again, really important to start being your own advocate, start being your own counselor in some ways. Start to take in information, which will allow you to, to push away the old information and no, just reject, push it away from you. It doesn't, it doesn't work. We have evidence to support that. So just time to push it away. If you found this video helpful, I would love if you shared it with somebody that you think that it could benefit. Subscribe if you'd like more information like this from this channel and like the video if it was beneficial. That would mean a lot. Take care and be well.